Welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Do Not Disturb feature. So there's two different ways to turn it on. The first one is just using Control Center, so swiping up from the bottom, is hitting the little moon symbol. That's the Do Not Disturb, so it's right there, it says it's on. That's to turn it off. The next way is to go under your settings, you go under settings, and then scroll down to see Do Not Disturb, open that up, and you can just go ahead and hit the manual button right there that turns it on. And so, the way it works is, Do Not Disturb is, is great for if you're in a meeting or you're in a class and you, you don't want, you don't even want like the vibrate to go off, you just want it to be completely silent. So the way it works is, when it's turned on, you can schedule it so it's for a time, so it, you can have, allow certain people to have calls come in that won't be silenced, or you can have it select so as everybody will be silenced. And so, let's just go through this real quick. So manual, I've got it on, scheduled, so let's say from, so right now it has it from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m., uh, it's like do not disturb. So if you're sitting there and it's quiet, or you're sleeping, those are your hours where you don't want your phone to buzz at you, you turn it on and you could go here and you could change the times from, so it's be 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. Or you can set it up as you can allow who you want the calls to be coming from. So if you have a specific group, let's say from your wife, your girlfriend, or um, anybody in your family, you want those calls to be allowed, that's where you can go ahead and just select like your favorites or you can go through and you have to make a group in your contacts, but it's really quite simple to do that. So I've got a set for favorites. Actually, I'm gonna just turn it to everyone because usually when I turn on my Do Not Disturb, I'm either meditating or I'm in a meeting or there's a specific reason why I do want Do Not Disturb on. I just don't want to be interrupted. So the other one is repeated calls. So let's say somebody that needs to get a hold of you on the second call from the same person within three minutes, it won't be silenced anymore. If you have the the vibrate turned on, then it will it will vibrate, but it will disengage the do not disturb. If the person calls back for a second time within three minutes, just kind of. Uh, it's kind of a safety feature, but you can turn that off as well. And then the other, last one is the silence mode. So you can have it so when the phone is locked or when it's always. I have it selected as always. So if you're on your phone messing around, it will still show up as, um, it will still be silenced. So if your phone is only when it's locked means if the phone is actually locked, then you won't receive those calls. So if your phone's like this, it's shut down, you won't see anything. But if it's unlocked like now, you will be able to get notifications. So that's basically it for Do Not Disturb. If you have any questions, make sure you email us at info at your Mac helpers or go to our website and click on the help tab and submit your questions. But the Do Not Disturb is great if uh, you just want some, uh, some free time, some peace and quiet from uh, the alerts and from the outside world that's text messaging you or calling you. Thanks.